Yakovlev, Yak-3, served as a Soviet fighter aircraft during World War II. It possessed a single engine and a single seat. Renowned for its durability and simple upkeep, it garnered appreciation from pilots and ground crew alike. Despite being among the smallest and lightest fighters deployed by any participant in the war, its exceptional power-to-weight ratio allowed for outstanding performance, making it a formidable opponent in dogfights. Origins The Yak-3 can trace its roots back to 1941 when the I-30 prototype was introduced as an alternative design to the I-26, Yak-1. The I-30, equipped with a Klimov M105P engine, featured a fully metal structure and a wing design with dihedral on the outer panels. Similar to the early Yak-1, it boasted a 20mm SHVAK cannon positioned in the nose spinner, utilizing the hollow drive shaft mechanism along with twin synchronized 7.62mm SHKS machine guns mounted on the cowling, and SHVAK cannons on each wing. During the Battle of Stalingrad, the Luftwaffe's fighters showcased superior speed, climb rate, and armament, putting the VVS at a disadvantage. Recognizing the urgent need for an upgraded version of the Yak-1 to compete on equal terms with the latest German fighter models, as well as to enhance energy retention and firepower, a team of designers led by Alexander Sergevich Yakovlev embarked on the development of the Yak-3 in 1943. The goal was to enhance survivability, flight characteristics, and firepower, necessitating a reduction in weight, a more powerful engine, and consequently, increased speed. Design and Development The initial prototype of the Yak-3, featured a slatted wing to enhance maneuverability and improve performance on short runways. However, the second prototype opted for a wooden wing without slats to streamline production and conserve aluminum. Unfortunately, the second prototype crashed during flight tests and was deemed unsalvageable. Although there were intentions to commence production of the Yak-3, the scarcity of aviation-grade aluminum and the pressure of the Nazi invasion resulted in the abandonment of the first Yak-3 project in late 1941. Between 1942 and 1943, Yakovlev undertook the development of the Yak-1M, a prototype that would eventually lead to the creation of the Yak-3. The Yak-1M was coupled with the VK-105 PF2 engine, the latest iteration of the VK-105 engine series, featuring support for a modern Ayapushka, an autocannon firing through the hollow propeller shaft. The Yak-1M incorporated a wing design similar to its predecessor but with a smaller surface area, measuring 17.15 to 14.85 square meters, along with further aerodynamic refinements. Notable changes included the repositioning of the oil radiator from the chin to the wing roots, distinguishing it from the Yak-1, 7, and 9 models. Another Yak-1M prototype, initially intended as a backup, was constructed later that year, featuring plywood covering on the rear fuselage, a mastless radio antenna, or reflector gun sight, and improved armor and engine cooling. After increasing the manifold pressure of the VK-105 PF2 engine from 1050 mmHg to 1100 mm of mercury, additional tests were conducted to assess its impact on the flight characteristics of the Yak-3. State trials demonstrated that this boost resulted in a reduction of 0.1 seconds in reaching an altitude of 5,000 meters, a decrease in takeoff run by 15 meters, 
an increase in altitude gain during a combat loop by 50 meters, and a speed gain of 5 to 6 kilometers per hour below 2,400 meters. The chief test pilot, Petr Mihailovich Stefanovsky, was highly impressed with the new aircraft and recommended that it completely replace the Yak-1 and Yak-7, with the Yak-9 retained for further development with the Klimov VK-107 engine. The Yak-3, designated as such, entered active service in 1944, slightly later than the Yak-9 despite its lower designation number. By mid-1946, a total of 4,848 Yak-3 fighters had been produced. It's worth noting that the designation Yak-3 was also used for other Yakovlev projects, including the proposed but never constructed heavy twin-engine fighter in the Yakovlev Yak-7A. The initial 197 Yak-3 aircraft were equipped with light armament, featuring a single 20mm SHVAK cannon mounted in the Modernea Pushka configuration, along with one synchronized 12.7mm UBS machine gun. Subsequent variants incorporated a second UBS machine gun, resulting in a weight of fire of 2.72 kg per second using high explosive ammunition. All armaments were positioned close to the aircraft's axis, with the cannon mounted in the engine V firing through the propeller hub and the synchronized machine guns placed in the fuselage. This configuration improved accuracy and relieved stress on the wings. Operational History The Yak-3, despite being lighter and smaller than the Yak-9 and sharing the same engine, proved to be a highly favored aircraft among both inexperienced and seasoned pilots. Its forgiving nature and ease of handling made it a beloved choice. The Yak-3 boasted durability, simple maintenance, and achieved great success in dogfights. Its primary role was as a tactical fighter, flying at low altitudes over the battlefield and engaging in dogfights below 4,000 meters. In the summer of 1944, the Yak-3 started reaching frontline units. The 91st IAP of the 2nd Air Army, The Yak-3 did face some unresolved issues during the war, including delamination of plywood surfaces when the aircraft pulled out of high-speed dives, limited range, and engine reliability problems. The pneumatic system used for operating the landing gear, flaps, and brakes, which was common in Yakovlev fighters at the time, proved to be troublesome. Despite being less reliable than hydraulic or electrical systems, the pneumatic system was preferred due to its weight-saving advantages. In 1944, the Normandy Neiman Group transitioned to the Yak-3, achieving 99 of their 273 air victories against the Luftwaffe using this aircraft. Overall, the Yak-3 suffered 210 losses in combat, with 60 occurring in 1944 and 150 in 1945. Modern Production Between 1991 and 2002, a total of 21 Yakovlev Yak-3, Yak-7, and Yak-9 aircraft were manufactured in the former Soviet Union using the original blueprints and tooling. These aircraft were equipped with American Allison V-1710 or Pratt & Whitney R-1830 twin WASP engines instead of the Klimov V-12 engines used during World War II. Some of these aircraft are currently airworthy, primarily located in the United States, with others found in Germany, Australia, and New Zealand. Additionally, some have been converted into Yak-3U configuration. If you enjoy these types of videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube algorithm to serve more viewers like you. Thank you.